What up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy X Royal Ninja here reporting for Duty, bringing you guys some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This time around, it's going to be a special zombie edition. So, for those of you who don't know or may know, whatever, um, Sledgehammer did come out with a zombie mode. Um, it will be available. F it will be available in the first DLC that Sledgehammer actually comes out with. So, if all you guys who have the um, the season pass you have nothing to worry about you will automatically have it so let's get started so um there's this mode called exo survival which is pretty much a wave of enemies coming at you and you have to defend or stay alive and the longer you stay alive the more waves you know come by and by the hard, the harder the, um, the more waves the harder it gets and it's endless so the game is over once you die pretty much so at first uh, they give you four maps as default, which is Biolab, Retreat, Detroit, and Ascent. Those are the first four maps they gave you. So what you got to do is actually complete 50 waves. Doesn't matter which map you do it. Uh, just complete 50 waves to unlock Tier 2. Now, Tier 2 um, comes with an extra four maps, which is Horizon, Combat, Terrans, and Instinct. Once you complete 75 waves in those new four maps, uh, the next tier unlocks, which is Tier 3. Now, Tier 3 includes green band solar recovering detach now once you've unlocked those four what you got to do is actually complete 100 waves in those new four maps and once you complete 100 waves in those four maps you unlock tier four which is only includes one map which is right the one you're seeing right now this is right now from my experience and from what other people have said uh, to accomplish this it takes about I want to say 11 to 15 hour range of straight gaming to complete this um, all these waves completion or to uh, unlock the right so once you unlock right uh, you start up a, a, a private match with right you can invite people doesn't matter or you can do it solo um, right now I'm actually with a, gr a group of people so it's actually fun for them to actually see it for the first time so once you um, go ahead and unlock right you hop onto it and once you hop onto it um, I believe it takes to round 11. That's when it, the action starts. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to actually let the clip run so you, get, so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. All right, guys, enjoy the zombiness. Roar! Team, report status. Report status. <laughs> Allied forces, this is Gideon. Does anyone copy? <laughs> Is anyone out there? This is Gideon. Do you copy? <laughs> Welcome back, team. Thought we lost you. Armories are down. Exos are offline. The EMP blast must have knocked them out. That DNA bomb should have taken you out. It must have been targeted only at hostile forces. But why? Heads up, team. Something's headed your way. Fast movers. Lots of them. Grab a weapon and ready up. What a bloody hell are these things? Team, report! What the hell are we fighting out there? What the hell's going on?
Yeah, man, that was crazy. That's my boy Gideon there just being taken overboard. So I don't know, maybe the DLC is going to include something with um, Gideon. Maybe he's going to turn over or he's going to be infected. I'm not sure. Um, but also, in addition to that, you also get an achievement, which is the Exo Survivor, which is once you complete the, um, the bonus wave, you actually unlock the achievement, which is actually pretty cool. So I am actually excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I just wanted to share this with you guys if you guys didn't know about it. All right, guys, don't forget to ninja slash that like button. Comment below. Tell me what you guys thought about the video. All right, guys, this is your boy X Royal Ninja out. Peace.